starting from today, you are never going to spend another penny on N8N because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to host N8N publicly, completely free, right from your own computer. No more monthly fees or paid hosting. All we'll use is Docker and a powerful platform called Ngrok. Ngrok is an incredibly powerful tunneling tool that securely exposes your local server to the internet. What it does is simple but powerful. It creates a secure tunnel from your local machine, so basically where N8N is hosted, to a publicly accessible HTTPS domain, which is the important part. This means that you get your own free public URL that services like Telegram, Gmail, and Stripe require you to have. So basically when you are running N8N locally on your machine, you are unable to access many of these third-party tools. But what Ngrok gives you is an HTTPS domain. And this HTTPS domain can give you access to any third-party tool, basically making your new local N8N setup identical to what N8N offers for $20 a month or more. Docker, on the other hand, is going to be our containerization platform. It's going to allow N8N to run reliably and consistently across different environments. It's going to pack it with all the necessary dependencies that we need. This ensures that our workflows, credentials, and data stays intact and safe even if you update or modify the setup. So all your data, all your workflows are going to be saved on your machine and you are not going to have a problem with that. So I know I talked a lot. So here's a straightforward process of what we're going to do. First, we're going to set up Docker on your computer and run N8N in a container. Then we'll configure that N8N container to maintain your workflow easily. Then we're going to set up Ngrok to securely expose your local N8N instance to the internet, creating a free publicly accessible URL. By the end of the video, you're going to have a fully functional, secure, and publicly accessible N8N setup that you are going to be able to access across multiple different devices, which again, you couldn't do before with a normal N8N local setup. Now guys, before we start setting up our production ready N8N setup, I really urge you guys to go down to the description and check out my AI infrastructure community. It is completely free for the first 50 users. And right now there's only about six. So I urge you guys to go and quickly join. If you are interested, there are many quirks to this AI community that you guys have never seen in any other community trust me you're not going to regret checking out the page and without further ado let's begin now first of all i want you guys to go to docker.com and install docker on your machine i'm pretty sure that docker does actually need wsl to be installed on your computer to do that all you need to do is write wsl dash dash install and this will basically install a kind of miniature version of linux on your computer and let you run different linux commands on your device now after you install wsl you can install docker and then after installing docker you are going to go to ngrok.com create a new account and you are going to be on this exact page now here what are you going to do all you're going to do is click download then Click download for Windows or Mac. I think this changes depending on your device. Yeah, you can click here, choose another device and then switch it to Mac or whatever you're using. Then download the file. Once you download it, I already have it, but I'll just do it again. I want you guys to unzip that file. So extract all and then extract it. I'm just going to delete that because I do not really have a use for it because I already have it. So you're going to unzip it and then you're just going to leave it because we don't need to worry about it for now. Now, after doing that, all I want you guys to do is open Docker. I'm pretty sure you also need to log into Docker. So just log into that with some sort of account. And then you are going to be inside of docker.desktop. Don't worry, this is a very easy process. The first thing you're going to do is go to images. Then you are going to head to that search bar over here and you're going to write N8N. After you write N8N, you're going to see 
the first one pop up, which is n8nio slash n8n. Make sure it's on the latest, then click pull. After clicking pull, you're going to see it appear right here once the loading is done. Now we can officially begin configuring this server. The first thing you're going to do is click run. Now, don't click run again. We are actually going to expand this option in settings so we can start configuring this container with what is required. So just name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it container. Then now you are going to go to host port. For the host port, you can put any host port you want. I just use 5555. Doesn't really matter which one you use. Now in here, the host path. Now for this one, I want you guys to go to somewhere in your computer. I just prefer to go to the user area and then I want you to create a new file and call it anything you want but you can just call it n8n data and then save that file and then click select folder but I already have my own version of that which I have all my workflows installed on it already yep right here select folder now you're probably wondering what is this file for that I just created well this is where n8n stores your data locally on your machine now you need to go to container path and write the following you're gonna go dash home dash node dash dot n8n now for this one it's going to be the exact same for everyone because this is where n8n stores data within docker now we are going to configure some specific environment variables for this to work perfectly the first variable that i suggest everyone put is going to be this one i'm just gonna copy paste it in it's going to be the n8n community underscore packages underscore allow underscore tool underscore usage. Now this one is basically going to allow you to install different community nodes. So as you guys know, the n8n community is large. There's many different people building nodes since this is open source. So you, by setting this to true, you are allowing n8n to install these nodes onto your device now guys i forgot to mention you can find all of these for you to copy paste in the description down below so you don't need to go through typing it manually now moving on we're going to get the next one which i want you guys to copy and paste in which is going to be the n8 and editor base url now this is where we are going to need to leave docker for a second and go back to the ngrok dashboard that we logged into earlier now here i want you guys to go to the section where it says deploy your app online then go to static domain now here you are going to see a custom domain that ngrok has given to you now don't copy the whole thing i just want you guys to copy this specific part because this is the url only that and then i want you to go back to docker and put it in the value section and in this part we are basically setting the url that the n8n editor is going to use it's a public url so basically now your n8n editor will be accessible on any device with this link you are going to be able to access n8n on these different devices and edit as you wish now we're going to input the next important variable which is going to be the webhook URL. And then the value is going to be the exact same because this is the URL that all the information is going to get sent to from external APIs like Gmail or Telegram. The reason that our local machines were not able to receive outside information before is that we did not have a URL to receive the information from. We were blocked only into our own machines and we were not able to receive information. But with this method, we are able to receive webhooks from different platforms. Now, there is one more variable that I would like you guys to add, which is going to be this one, n8n default binary data mode. This one is important because it's going to tell n8n how to control large files. So instead of storing these large files on your RAM, it's instead going to store it locally for a temporary amount of time. So your computer, if it has a low amount of RAM, will have a lesser chance of crashing. Now here, you're going to need to put the value as file system. And that's about it, guys. And now you are ready to run this container and we'll see what happens.
Now guys, if your screen looks like this, it means that everything worked perfectly fine. If not, go back and make sure that there's no spelling mistakes or something because that did happen to me on my initial setup where I did <laughs> spell some things wrong and I realized later. So just double check. Now it's going to give you this link and when you go to it, it's not going to be working. That is because we did not finish setting up our ngrok server. So now we're going to go back and configure our ngrok server. So going back here, the first thing I want you guys actually to do before we come back here is go to our file explorer, go to downloads and then go to the unzipped file that we downloaded earlier. Don't go to the zipped one. Make sure you extract it first and then click onto it. And you're going to see only one thing, ngrok.exe. You're going to double click that and you're going to be inside officially. Now there's only two more steps that you need to do. The first step being we're going to run this command that is basically going to generate an authentication token for us, which is obviously required by ngrok for security reasons. So you are going to copy this. You're going to go here. We're going to go to command and we're going to go to the um, ngrok.exe file that we just opened. We're going to paste this in and then you're going to enter. Then it's going to tell you that your authentication token has been saved. And then it's going to give you this file path, which you can obviously open and go look at your authentication token and maybe save it somewhere. You can now just copy this in, go back here, go to your files, open it. You can remove this so it doesn't, op so it doesn't open it directly. And then over here, you're going to have your ngrok.yml file. You can just open it and you're going to see your token. I'm not going to be showing my token, but when you open it, you're going to see your token. You can save it wherever you want if you want to. And that's about it. Now you have one more step and it is to just run your server. To do that, you're going to go here. You're going to click static domain if you haven't already. And then you're just going to copy this command. You're going to go here and you're going to paste it in. And then before pressing enter, I want you guys to do one more thing. I want you to replace this number at the end with the port that you decided on choosing. I just chose 5555 and then now after inputting the host port that you configured on Docker, you can officially click enter. And now finally, all you need to do is just enter your brand new public server and you're ready to go. Click control, left click, and there you go, guys. You are now on n8n.io. This is a public HTTPS URL. Obviously, you can go here to my workflows and I'm going to show you. I have prepared this one for you and I have Telegram over here. Now, I would like to preface again that before this would be impossible to work because it has Gmail and Telegram, two platforms that do not work on locally hosted setups. But now you're going to see that it's going to work. Moment of truth, test workflow. Let's just keep the Telegram open and you're going to see the notification pop up. It's summarizing, it's already, and it got the information from Gmail. There you go. It gave me a summary of an email I just got from LinkedIn. And there you go, guys. You have just created a production ready and it and set up completely for free without spending a single dime. But before you guys go, I just want to remind you to click the link down below and go check out my AI infrastructure community. Just go have a read, see if it's something that you're interested in. And then if you want to join, go ahead. If not, then you don't have to, of course. But that's it from me, guys. Thank you. Bye.